Greetings, Matrix Unlocked, presentation 38. This, um, well, it was never planned to do two videos today, <laughs> let alone one, but the information is coming through so thick and fast, and there was so much I wanted to say on the last video, and then because of so much else coming through, I forgot to even mention it. I'm going to drop the H-bomb in this video. And I'll explain what that is a little bit later on. But first of all, I want to just go over the background of Tataria. Now, the way I'm seeing this is that, uh, shall we say, the leaders of Tataria had come from the north, from what we call the North Pole. And as they came more to the middle of the known earth, which we know as the equator, they started to realize that the light was coming from the east and they settled on a place, in a place that was called Air, or Era, or what we know today as Ireland. Now something very strange with Ireland, with the whole history of it, with the official narrative, Traditionally, if you're wealthy, you sent your children to Ireland to be educated, which is in stark contra contrast with the island of the potato famine and many of the Irish being rounded up as slaves by this brutish empire. The two things contrast completely, but what else comes out of this is the old place names. You have Hibernia and a Hibernian football team in Scotland. You have Ibernia, which I believe was the old name for Ireland. Then when you go to Spain, you have Iberia. You'll notice also how Nibiru and Hibiru and Hebrew are also very similar words. And I would suggest that the root uh, of all these place names is within a singular word. Now I've often, thought about how this destruction of Tataria came about and I would suggest that Ireland was probably the centre of the Tatarian Empire. But are we saying Tatarian right? Are we could should we not be saying Tartarian? From which you get Aryan, Breatharians and so on. And of course everything has been twisted and when we're told that the Lord will rise in the east and with a reference to the sun. But are we not also supposed to head towards the light, which would actually be going to the east from the west, the opposite direction? What, I'm, what I've suggested before about these parasites, these mysterious sea people that have come up through the Nile, which is an anagram of Enlil, and settled around the Phoenicia area, and this is why you have, have the Babylonian death cult. And like any narcissist, it has wormed its way in, and, and it has these parasites have been a cancer, and they have gone to the heart of the Tatarian Empire. And this is why you have this reference to the red hair, and if you follow that line back through all those place names, this is why Ireland and the history of Ireland, which is rich with stories of giants and little people and the stark contrast in the education. And in recent times, we have a, we've had a, a series of jokes about things like an Englishman, an Irishman and a Scotsman. And it is always the Irish that are portrayed as stupid and the butt of the jokes. The same thing happens apparently with um, Austrians, with Germany. It's all divide and conquer, even at the most subtle level of what is supposed to be humour, but it is laughing at all of us. Now the H-bomb. I'm sure most of you will have heard of the Eye of Horus. Well, let's think about the word or the name Horus. It's an anagram of ours, it's ours, hor, us, as opposed to horror or horology, the study of time. Now the Horus eye 
is right in the middle. It's your third eye. The H I have suggested is the link. The letter shape H is the link between the right and left hemispheres of the brain. Notice the head, the hemisphere, Horus, all start with the letter H. The heavens, the hell, because where do we create things in our mind? You can create a, a hell of a reality for yourself or a heaven of reality. If you think about if you're applying, say for example, for a new job, you will conjure up all sorts of scenarios of the job interview. Most of them will be founded on fear that you, you have created yourself in your mind. And when it actually comes down to the interview, all those um, scenarios that you've created have turned out to be ill illusions, not enlightenment. But it is how you conduct yourself and conduct. Think about that. What does electricity, what does power do? It is, it is conducted. The orchestra, which is sound, has a conductor. I had not actually planned to say any of this last bit on this video. So the H-bomb, what I'm suggesting here is that a lot of these people that are not waking up have lost that link. Because the third eye is also this Horus eye, and it is the link between the two hemispheres of the brain. So there's quite a few things to think about in that for a start. So also think about revelations the reveal at I on and think in that it talks about the shortening of days well how are you spelling days are you spelling it d-a-y-s now what if you spell it d-a-z or z-e coming out of the days coming out of the dream state and seeing the reality of this world the way it is the horrors that are going on. Even in this three-dimensional world, we can turn this into something that is a heaven on earth, not a hell on earth. Notice you have two more H's there. And the H is two vertical lines and a bridge between. As above, so below, I would also suggest, is symbolised in that when the H is turned on its side. We are that link we are the, these fallen earth angels because we, we have been falling for an angle. That is why we are, are encouraged to speak angle leash in this language. Think also about words like toothpaste. Now take the word tooth. A tooth has a root. Now is it thoth? Because why is it in toothpaste? You have tartar control. And thank you, Martin Leeker, for the prompt on that one. And tar, you will find, appears in tarmac. In mortar, mort being the death part of it. There's a lot of things that will go... It may possibly blow your mind. These ideas may go round and round in your mind because that is where the universe really is. It is between you two temples. When you start seeing from this third eye and radiating out the energy of positive love, that is when things will change because we create the world around us. That is the power you have always had. You just need to go within. Everything is about going within and digging deep, whether you're looking for the physical Tatarian civilization, which reminds me, if any of you live in what is described as a mud flood building where you have got a window arch at street level, I would ask that you please take some floorboards up and have a look below. We all want to know what is above, but we also need to know what is below, because as above, so below. We are that link in the middle on this level plane and we must remain level headed. Thank you very much.